Ah, screw it. No, there's no opening. There's no opening ideas today. Let's get on with it. Welcome back to Unarmed Stocks Reviews, and after about a week of waiting, I finally got two things that are worth reviewing. Thank God. So today we're going to talk about them. However, I, don't, I, do not want, I do not want to make two different videos, so I'm going to make one video, um, one video covering them both, so I said that's going to be fun. So recently, I acquired two packages. One came in straight from Japan, way the fuck out there. One of them came in straight from Ohio, way the hell down here. So what am I doing talking about the locations? Well, the Japan one was not supposed to come in until July, and the Ohio one was delayed due to adverse weather conditions. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the products themselves. So why am I talking about this? Because I want to, goddammit. So without further ado, let's get this started. Whew. I got a little too hyped there. Way too hyped. Okay. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. It's part of the show. It's part of the show. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. I'm calm. Calm down. Well, anyways, um, the first item up for review is the Dan Board minifigure. And, uh, I think everyone else got a special edition because, um, mine didn't come as, mine didn't come as, um, everyone else's. Mine came a little weird, but whatever. That's a small inconvenience, but I'll, I'll let it pass. So here's the Dan Board minifigure. Uh, the articulation is pretty well done. It's nicely, it's n it's because the articulation as well is pretty good. It's a little tricky to get done because some of the arm, some of the shoulder joints move out of place, but that's fine. The head moves around pretty well. A little creaky, but that's a small inconvenience. The legs, well, they just go back and forth. They're not really, it's not really that much to look at. And the reason I'm saying that I might have gotten a special edition is because everyone else got a nice little a nice little box with it, like a, little, a nice little separate case. But however, I didn't get that. The only box I got was this. But again, that's not a big problem. It's just a slight inconvenience. Yeah, that's that's it. Small inconvenience. One special feature about this, though, is that the eyes light up. However, the, the, they're not as bright as I wanted them to be since, every, well, everyone else got a tab to protect their batteries. I didn't get jack. Oh, well, is this how it came in? It came in without the little tab, so the batteries might have run out during the trip. However, again, that's not a big problem because I can just get new batteries for it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's some um, slight little... A slight little damage right there, but that's not too big of a deal. And a huge dent, and then like a slight dent right there, but I think, that's a, I think that adds character. <sighs> so that's the Dan Board minifigure. The next item up for review was a tad bit, well, a hell of a lot more expensive than the Dan Board figure, which cost me only $11.81, I believe. The next, the next item, however, cost me over $120. This is the TARDIS Bluetooth speaker. I spent $120 on a speaker, but the real question is, is it worth it? In my opinion, yes, it is worth it. The sound quality is alright, The, however, it's not very loud. It, it, it's called, it gets loud as soon as you add a component, which I will show you later. So let's turn it on and see how it works. takes a while. Any minute now. I swear it will connect in a few minutes. Come on. Oh, it's connected. So yeah, that's how it works. And uh, it's it's not very loud for the Bluetooth for the Bluetooth portion of it right here. I've played a few songs on it and I need to actually like 
I just kind of like, it's not very loud, however. It's loud enough if you're just lounging in a room by yourself, it's to add some pretty good sound quality. If you're, in, if you're trying to drown out a whole bunch of noise in the background, it's probably not going to work as well. Down here, you get a few volume control buttons. Here's separate, like, separate volume control buttons apart from your thing right here. It's called you raise the volume up with this one, down right that one. With these ones, with these ones over here, you can either there's actually a, a there's actually a call there's actually an answer option right here. With these ones, with these, with um I believe the phone button right here, you can shut it on and off just to answer a phone call. But I don't use that very often. However, it's, a couple, earlier when I was talking about the the sound quality, I said that it wouldn't work well with the uh, with the Bluetooth um with the Bluetooth it's called area. However, with this aux cable that they provide you, which was blue, but whatever, regular type of choosers, it sounds a bit better. And everything has its own special sound effect. That's the sound effect for whenever you plug in the aux cable. And with this, you're, it sounds some um, significantly louder than when it does with the Bluetooth option. The only problem with it is that it's it takes a while to connect and it's pretty damn loud. So if you're if you're at night, so at night you know it's it, it's pretty startling when you, when you, if you turn it on in a quiet area because it's pretty damn loud and, and it takes a while to connect. And that's that's a huge problem. So yeah, this is the TARDIS Bluetooth speaker. So yeah, woo! That's two reviews in one video. That's an accomplishment for me. Pretty sure I've done it earlier, but that was back then, and this is now. Right now, and I feel accomplished. I know, I know it kind of seems like I'm showing disdain for the TARDIS when I was reviewing it, but in reality, I actually do like this speaker. It's just that it was really noisy at the time. And I couldn't find much to say about it, and that's why I did two of them in this, in this video right here. I don't have much to say about them other than they're, this is a speaker and it is an action figure. Or figuring whatever. So anyways, if you guys liked the video, uh, give it a like down there. And uh, if you guys want to see more of what I have to do, uh, hit the subscribe button down there. And yeah, as for me, I'll see you later.